English hatchery is a place for artificial breeding, hatching and rearing through the early life stages of fish. Hatcheries are the backbone of aquaculture. The output of a hatchery is normally fry, fingerlings or juveniles. Sands Fish Farm located on Bahai Road specializes in hatching and growing catfish. Most of our work has really been uh, in a research area mm. for, on how to, to culture fish using a, a, a fish farming culture called recirculating aquaculture system. Mm. What someone might call a RAS or RAS system. It's a, it's a water reuse system, so we, use, we reuse the same water. Mm. Being that it's a, it's a small resource and in a small area, so we, that is what we may, we've mainly been researching. Mm. We had some big vision mm. in, in terms of the amount of fish we had. Mm. Unfortunately, we couldn't get that seed uh, in the country. So we had to reset and then go do back to do it ourselves. Yeah. How is mm. the market for fish? Do you actually sell the fish? We sell the fish right from the day it was born. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> day one. <laughs> from day one. No losses. Yes, there are people who would want it from day one. Or yeah. Actually, uh, along the day. Other so fish farmers. Yeah? Yes, other okay. fish farmers. Yeah. So the fish has pr a price hmm. straight from the first day. Wow. Well, in other countries, even the eggs themselves have a, have you a price. You can harvest the eggs. <laughs> yes, you can actually just hatch or actually yeah. provide the eggs and uh, to the called production hatcheries where oh. they only simply get eggs from mm. another hatchery yeah then hatch them and then produce the fingerling okay so we also have that in mind in mm. our business mm. that uh, uh, each fish even the parent stock all the way to the to the eggs mm. to the fish has a price so depending on what the customer or client wants uh, we will sell them so most times you will not even get to the to the to the to the, to the plate side table oh. because the fish is taken even From before even before that yeah so you'd say your business is thriving mm, yes you could say there is a problem that we we're solving oh. as in there's there's basically there's demand there's, there's demand there's a lack mm. of fish we do not have enough fish since we started production yeah. uh, last month i mean between uh, between jan and month we sold mm. about 20000 fingerlings uh -huh. So at a price of at a price of, of uh, 500, 500 shillings, shillings each, yeah, yeah about twenty thousand. Yeah. So we are growing, uh, and those were taken. Now we have a batch of about ten thousand in here. Mm. Uh, the fish that we sold in uh, January and Feb, mm. twenty thousand, twenty thousand young ones. Yeah. We would have preferred not to sell them. We would prefer to grow them. Okay. To about a kilo each, yeah. which would possibly go for about fifteen thousand a kilo. Mm. Or even up to all the way up to up to twenty thousand if you if you're not in, if you're not in a hurry to sell them. Mm. So if you have the twenty thousand, or, or you, even if you actually got about uh, uh, ten tons from them, yeah. that would give you about a hundred million. Mm. But now if you sell them at this stage, you only get ten percent of mm. that. So, but then the cost for the feed for 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 that fish mm. is about uh, as about fifty to sixty percent of that. So you need 60 million to actually be able to 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 grow the 20,000. Wow! So it's uh, it's not about how much money the, the amount of money you can make. Yeah. Is is really dependent on 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 how much you can raise in buying food. Okay. Fish farming is uh, like you say is not smooth sailing. Yeah. It's, it's it's a mixture of both science and and art, and you need to have to come to terms with all that. Uh. Uh, you need to, fish have needs, just like. Uh, <laughs> and so one thing you're saying, fish get stressed, yes, and I'm just like, exactly. how are, how does fish get stressed? Like, exactly. If you want fish to grow, yeah, uh, very fast, then you make sure they're not stressed. And how, for us, we look at fish farming mm. in terms of numbers, mm -hmm. based on their comfort zone. Those numbers keep them comfortable. For example, mm. uh, we have about six things that we always make sure we. Provide, provide the fish, for the fish so yeah. that they go faster yeah and uh, and actually they don't if, if they are stressed and we're giving them food and they're not growing we're wasting money mm. so we have to make sure they're not stressed one of those of course we have to keep the oxygen levels up yeah we have to make sure that the water they have is uh, is uh, is of good quality mm -hmm. we have to also make sure that uh, the feeds are yeah. of good quality yeah. and uh, 
they're able to give the best uh, what we call food conversion ratio. Yeah. Because you you might if it's 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 possible to feed, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day you have you've spent more than you can actually get oh. from the fish. Mm. Uh, for example, when we say water quality, mm. our number is uh, between between seven between seven and eight that's okay. the ph yeah. the ph of the water okay so that's a number that we use yeah it's, it's based on science if we keep the ph between seven and eight yeah there will be happy fish which means you also need to measure yeah. uh, to measure the water okay. have the tools to be able to tell those numbers mm. temperature is one uh, big aspect yeah uh, for some people it's even the biggest because uh, fish will grow about uh, especially the our the, it also depends on the type of fish. Yeah. The fish that's grown in Uganda, catfish, tilapia, and others. Yeah. They do well at at high temperatures. Mm. By definition, they are even called warm water fish. Fish. So, uh. at temperatures of 28. Yeah. A fish will go three times faster than at temperatures of uh, of uh, of 22. Mm. So sometimes. Especially in the early stage, we do have to heat the water. Yeah. Make sure the temperature is adequate. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we make sure they have enough space. Mm -hmm. Don't overcrowd them. Yeah. And yeah. the fish are also sensitive to light. Oh. Uh, to light. So, yeah. you, like, if, if there's too much light, they're photophobic. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you'd, you'd want to, sometimes we have to put, put shade, shade. shade over this. Okay. So that they, they have a, an ambient... Uh, yeah. environment makes sense to be able to make sense okay we have about five services that oh, we offer let's listen uh, one is uh, we do the, the the fingerling production okay uh, so farmers can have access to the seed yeah secondly we do we do provide uh, support mm. for the farmers because it doesn't stop at giving you a fingerling and then we need about we it. need to provide support to the, yeah. to the we need to make sure they have accessories yeah to be able to farm in the support we also provide training yeah uh, we also sell the we also do sell uh, so the fish. Uh, the fish, yeah. Okay. The fish. We do sell the fish. Mm. Supply different uh, different entities. Mm -hmm. We're mostly into the markets. Yeah. If again, we have. We also help other farmers sell yeah. their fish. Oh. So all the way up to markets. Let's say in Congo, oh. we we also do we also do that. Mm. Then we also do the feeds. In here we have uh, slightly over. Over 10,000, okay. which is actually 12,000 to be exact, that's yeah. what we stocked in here. Aww. So this will actually move through stages. At mm. some point we'll come in here and we will grade them because some grow uh, faster than what others. What do you mean grade? We sort and grade them. That is, we, we remove them oh. and then we pass them through a grader just to see some that are bigger than the mm. other. And then they will move on into the other, into the other tank system. Okay until they are ready for so that we have different sizes for yeah. for the different brackets uh, available to sell so mm. someone will come and say i want this size yeah another one says i want fully grown fish so you grade eh? so we grade and and uh, and send them to the different yeah. tanks now um so. let's explain that what uh, situation happening there uh there are about four types of systems that yeah. you can use to farm uh, one of them is earthen ponds mm -hmm. that's the normal of fish farming where you you will dig the ground yeah and then it's basically just like the word earthen it's 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 an earth pond yeah and you have water in there the other systems are cage culture where you have cages in the lake mm. and then you have what is also called a flow through system you have a stream which flows through your your ground mm. and then the fourth one is a, a recirculating system okay. recirculating systems are the the new way that's the new way of farming fish yeah where you you have a closed uh environment or yeah. even uh you use you use less water yeah and also less space yeah so the water you see there which you're asking is we are running a recirculating system whereby that water it goes through is pumped through yeah and then it first the first stage of filtration we sieve to remove the to remove the waste okay uh, the uneaten food the fish waste yeah is all trapped there uh. then the second set of filtration we use the plants mm -hmm. these systems are very very expensive so we have come up with uh, inexpensive ways mm. to do the filtration so in, in the in the 
The second stage of filtration is what is referred to as uh, mechanical, uh, sorry, biological filtration. Yeah. The first stage is uh, mechanical filtration, where we we trap the solids yeah. or those things that you can see with the naked eye. Okay. Then the second phase, once we've trapped those, yeah. the next phase is, is now the biological filtration. So the plants, their roots, they, they suck up of, or they thrive on the nutrients, mm. the nutrient-rich water. Mm. Someone could actually call it uh, in another way where there's aquaponics, okay. where they use the plants to, to filter the water. Yeah. These plants actually eventually, we also mix them in the food. Uh, the food. But now they, they pull out any nutrients yeah. that may be in the water and so it, this process goes on like that on and, and like that okay. and like that. So let's yeah. move to the other yeah. pond. Yeah. In here we have mostly, we have our parent fish. Parent? Parent fish, yeah. They're what not do you so, mean? They're not so many. Parent fish meaning that uh, that's where we get the, that's where we get the eggs from. Oh. At this point, we're mainly into fingerling, mm. into fingerling production. Yeah. So it's about it's about the young ones. Mm. These are the these are the parent fish, but at the same time, when we have uh, a, a, a lot of fish, this is they will still reside in here, mm. and we will have as much as one ton in each of these in each of these ponds. Yeah. But right now, it's mainly parent fish that is giving us the we're harvesting the eggs oh. from the fish. Yes. Can I ask you, did you study all this? No, I didn't. I, my previous field has been in telecom, ah. uh, in a part of telecom called Va VAS, Value yeah. Added Services. But I'm originally a business administration student, mm. and uh, I specialized actually in accounting. And oh. uh, this only came as a... Hobby. <laughs> Uh, not as a Fashion. hobby. It's it's always started from uh, it's always started from as a business. Mm. As in, uh, I, I, I from from early on, I had a set of, of, of businesses that I wanted to do. Yeah. So fish farming or farming was was among them. Yeah. And actually, as I came into it, the more I went into fish farming, the more uh, I mean the passion grew, and then the passion for telecom kind of kind of went down. Okay. Uh, this is a, a solar solar heating system that we use in the in the hatchery. One of the six things I mentioned was the temperature, was the temperature yeah. Yeah. Uh, we use solar, electricity and gas. Oh. And gas to heat the water. Yeah. So this is the first stage once the water comes. Yeah. It will go through here. And mm, is, is heated the pipes. Uh, via solar. Oh. The electricity will come on only when the temperature Needed. is below that. Okay. So it will come on at that. And then when we, we, we don't have power, uh, the, the gas, gas comes the in. gas is our backup. Okay, so can so, we look at yes, the hatchery? We can look inside, yeah. If we have to import uh, this uh, a system to, to hatch, it would take us the upside of $50,000. But we'll use local materials that we can find locally to bring that price down so that we are also now able to, to, to grow that fish. So as you can see, this is simply wood and, uh, and uh, a simple tarpaulin. The filters we have made, uh, again, using local materials. Uh, that is a pipe that we've uh, with we plastic welded together and then put in media that allows the bacteria that cleans the water to grow. So that's all cost friendly, easy in the pocket, but the production is very high because right now in here we have, we have uh, over 100,000 uh, young fry, so or young larvae. And same applies to, to these beans. These are normal beans like for clothes that are used for clothes. So they're the ones we've actually cut and used this and then plumbed to give us that recirculation. Uh, the filtration system, uh, we couple with, uh, we couple with, uh, with, with other electronic devices. Uh, the, auto the heating is automated. The, 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 the water is sterilized using uh, uh, UV filters. We also have the temperature is, reg is automatically regulated. We keep it at 28 and uh, in here we also have a, you can have a, 
the thermometer in here will read uh, we're we are running at 28 degrees centigrade. So it's automatically regulated, but the rest is simple things that we, we acquire locally on the market. You didn't find the big fish? Yeah. But uh, in the market, actually, this size, 300, 300 yeah. grams, is uh, what our clients prefer. Yeah. Uh, so the fish, this is uh, market size, starts from about 300 Mm. All the way up. Okay. So, but but our our, our market is uh, is uh, should I say price sensitive? Oh, okay. If you've heard of something, sent his yeah. <laughs> Money left at home for the lady. Money left at the uh, at home is yeah. about five thousand. Oh yeah. So someone needs to actually be able to spend uh, to have sauce mm. and every other thing from the five thousand. So yeah. if we take this to the market at three thousand, yeah. So then everyone can afford the fish, yeah. and oh. we find that. Uh, you guys in your corporate offices, you don't actually eat fish. It's the ah, I eat fish. <laughs> Once in a while. No, but there yeah. are people that can eat fish almost every, every day. other every day. At, That's uh, so nice. So it's, it's enough for it's, it's enough for a, a family of five. Okay. So we, we normally actually we don't we don't waste a lot of time producing oh, bigger. Oh, it's still moving. Producing bigger, uh, yeah. Like I said before, uh, we they have lungs. They have lungs, so they can actually stay. Uh, stay alive for much longer. Yeah. And actually, when we take them to the market, mm -hmm. we most of the time we'll take live fish. Uh, our slogan actually for that is uh, "fresh when kicking." Yeah. So you, you fresh. I mean, it's it's fresh when it's kicking. So yeah. that's one of the reasons we prefer we prefer catfish. Okay. Because the moment you get to the market with dead fish, mm. then the price begins to go down. To go down if you can't sell it quickly. But uh, sometimes for fish farming. There's always a desire to grow bigger fish, oh. but there's, there's not, it's not really, uh, uh, it's not really, you know, it depends on your market, mm -hmm. the market that you, you, depends on your market. But we spend less time in the, in, I mean, we spend less time uh, growing fish, because mm. this will do, we'll get to this size in, in four months and okay. then they can go. Okay, and uh, to be quite frank, we don't even get to raise them bigger than this. Oh. Because they are taken before they even... The market is there, it's ready market. Yes, yeah. Okay, lovely, so, thank you so much. So anyone who wants to contact you, mm. even if they want to buy whatever it is that you mentioned, where can they contact you? Like, uh, number, email, Facebook? We, 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 we are on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, someone can simply search for Sands Fish Farm. Sands Fish Farm. Sands Fish Farm. Mm -hmm. We also do have a website, yeah. uh, which is sands.co.ug. Then our, our number, our farm number is uh, plus 256-393-208-443. Okay. Mr. James, thank you so much for showing us your fish. Um, I hope any of our viewers who wants to come for training or wants to buy something from you, they actually get to contact you. As I said before, the information is um, the first comment pinned. You'll see, just scroll down and you're going to see that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up, do all the nice things, hit the bell for notifications, and follow us on all our social media pages, Kangana Nation Instagram, Kangana Nation Facebook. I'm your host, Janita. Till next time.